Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today in this tutorial we will learn how to make this pretty earrings. These beads we got from GGC treasure box. I have a couple more of them. Uh, we got it in blue color, purple color. So we can make earrings out of uh, all of these. <coughs> and there is a blue. And then these beads. So these are like etched beads and they have these cute um, uh, leaf on it. Leaf is etched and I use this bead and also one of the purple lavender color. There is a blue also. There is a pair of blue also and um, thinking of making three sets of earrings but I wanted to show you guys this pattern and I will have a little bit of a tweak in that pattern and then do the rest so um, for this project I took some Leveno seed beads from my stash okay as you see there is no brand written on it and I'm sure that this is a branded one not a regular one because they were uniform when I worked with it so I have some Leveno seed beads and some super duos the super duo that I'm using here is um, Joanne's bead, it's from Joanne's. It's check glass, it doesn't say any color. Hematite, yes, here you go. Hematite color is the one that I am using. You can use anything you want. I like the hematite and lavender together. It kind of looks pretty to me. I'm going to use a thread zapper and, of course, a needle and thread. I'm using Wildfire 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.006 inch in a black color you can use any color you want i would suggest to go with the color of your super duo um so that way it is good so i have here a wingspan i i took a wingspan and you can make both the earrings within the wingspan you don't need that much cord and this is what i used i'll tweak this a little bit more because this is my first earring and i just want to figure out if i can make uh, something like this so what i did was i will show you guys exactly how i did this and then i'll show you guys how exactly i might do it the second time so here you go this has a beginner fold so my thread will get directly go like this so what i i did was i took these and then knotted it just like so okay that's an overhand knot this will be a surgeon's knot going through that once twice and then one more time going through the loop once is a overhand knot and then if you go through the loop twice then that becomes a surgeon's knot so just so this is what the thread is and then I just want to get rid of my thread because it drives me nuts and then it constantly gets stuck with other things so what I do is I take this and then use my thread zapper to zap it off see there is a small hole small um, cord left that you can melt it uh, against the knot so as you work with the thread zapper you should be in a well ventilated environment that's a must so here we go so now I picked up um, yes one seed bead one super duo when you pick the super duo just make sure that the other hole is not plugged if not it's a big hassle okay so this one then here we go this is a little bit off let me see if it has a hole see that's a little bit plugged so i don't use that and i will check the other one is good so there we go a seed bead a super duo a seed bead a super duo a seed bead four four and four 
So 4 super duos and 5 seed beats is what I have here. See? That's what I have here. So I take that. So my thread is coming out of here. So I go back through the hole again. On the other side. So this is what I have so far. Then what I would do is pick up a seed bead, a super duo, a seed bead, a yeah, super duo. I will just bring it a little bit close for you guys to see. A seed bead, a super duo, seed bead, a super duo, and a seed bead. Five seed beads and uh, four super duos. My thread is exiting out on the top. I go back from the bottom to make a complete circle this is what I have so far as you can see one side it comes together the other side it is like wide open that's how it was when I did the first time and I'm okay that this thread is showing it's gonna be in the back I'm not worried about it if you're concerned then you can tweak that a little bit more so in this I added this bead directly I didn't leave a gap or so but when I'm doing the other uh, that little bit tweak I will do it a little bit differently but I really like the way this turned out to be it looks very pretty and it dangles as a whole rather than this separately so I like that so what I do is I take this bicone the big one and take a seed bead right next to it drop it down to my work just like so now leaving the seed bead out I go back through that and through the center of this round bead okay I hope I was in the frame I am sorry about that if I didn't okay there we go see this just pull that one through okay so now you pull everything it's wobbly I know but it will get better once you start putting stuff so now I want you to go through all the side beads again one more time go through here come back come back and go through like that so completely one more time right If you are not able to go through everything together, it's okay. You can go through a couple of seed beads, a couple of super duos, and then pull the thread out and then go through the next. Because do not force it. Okay. Go through that. Just like so. And go back through this lemon or seed bead on the top or on the bottom whichever you want to say oops and then go back through the side so we went through this one now I'm going back through this one just to make this table so now I'm here on the top I went through the sides one more time now see there's a gap so pick up a super duo I'm coming out of this lemon or seed bead I'm going to go again through this lemon or seed bead so that will sit on the top of the structure that we are building okay now what I do is I take my thread my thread is exiting out of this super duo bottom hole right this my thread is exiting out of this super duo bottom hole now I come back through the top hole of that super duo okay there we go okay now pick up a seed bead a super duo a seed bead and go through the next super duo 
top four. See how it sits in between. That's what we are going to do it around. Okay. Pick up a seed bead, a super duo, and a seed bead, and go through the next one. I should have done with 15 O's, but I don't have a matching color for the 15 O, and I was uh, playing with it so. You can step down with the 15 on the top. I think that would that would be nice. Or else there was a little bit tweak that I will show you guys in the next pattern. So basically, I'm just filling up the holes on the top. Um, so going through one seed bead, one super duo, and one seed bead. I checked all these super duos whether they have the two holes are open or not so that's why I'm not checking it otherwise you guys please go ahead and check see if there is uh, something that sticks out or something like that see this one um, it comes here this is the back side I will keep it that should not be a problem and drop more um, seed beads for myself So now I'm at the end here, right? Now what I will do is I will just go through the top seed bead, the top of the super duo, and come back one more time. Okay, then I'm going through the inner circle of the super duo and the seed beads. See this? I will change it. I will shift it around the other side if that's what is easy for me. So whichever comes easy for you guys, please do it. So I'm here now. I need to add a super duo and a seed bead right here. You can either go like this and come back around. That's also totally optional so I will do that I will come all the way down just like so so I just come back through the super duo alone and not through the last seed bead right next to the teardrop okay then I come up see my thread is exiting out of the bottom hole of the super duo I will come through this top hole of the super duo and continue that so here you go okay now I will pick up check everything is proper and now I will pick up one seed bead one super duo one seed bead and fill this gap as well one seed bead one super duo one seed bead one seed bead one super duo and one seed bead and go through the stop hole and also the seed bead right next to it see I have finished adding all the beads that I want in this earring except for the top part so what I do is I come back through um, this um, super duo I go back through the top part so again I come back through the super duo bottom hole through the 11 of seed beads and through the super duo on the bottom hole see this this bottom part okay and then come through the bottom hole of this super duo come back to the top hole
pick up five seed beads and go back through the top super toe just like so okay so this is a little bit wobbly but don't worry about it we'll go through one more time and then we can fix it now go through the bottom one and the bottom hole the seed bead then the top one of the previous row the seed bead and this little bit yes so here we go if it is not letting you to go through one at a time just go through two at a time or three at a time how much ever you can which is what I'm doing right here I'm going through one more time and reinforcing that one more time because that's where uh, our ear wire will hang so we need to make that tight as well so now come back so what I do is I can come back I can go to this side and then come back and then do that that's also totally possible so I will do that so again come through the bottom the top if you want you can use your pliers to pull your needle I'm using a size 10 beading needle but that's not ideal I would say I would say use size 12 or 11 at least trying to go through one more time let's see if it is possible I want to I did it with the other earring so I know that we can do it but there we go go through the seed bead the super duo on the seed bead go through that seed bead on the side on the top row now, now thread is exiting out of the bottom I will go through the top just like that and come back the thread will be showing on the side that's why I wanted you guys to take a thread which matches the color of the super duo so that these threads even though they are shown it won't look odd right and then go through that so once you get to this go up go down through the bottom hole come up through the top hole and go through the bottom and go to the next bead now pull that thing and go through the next up through the top come down through the bottom and through this now what I do is I will this is done actually pretty much done we have to fix this part which we will do when we come there so if you want you can do a half inch knot here or so come up here so I'm not going through the bottom hole I'm going to go through this leveno seed bead right here go down
come up through the seed bead and then go down. just the bottom and then I'm going to go to this side so go up to the top Go to the top hole of the super duo, come back and then go down. So once you go through the top hole, loop it and come back, loop it and come back again, then we have to do the half inch knots and cut off the thread. That's about it. Now this is what our earring looks like. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is tie half inch knot. My thread is exiting out of 11 -0. I go through the circle underneath, take my needle and then tie a half inch knot. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now go through the next one. next super duo and again go underneath grab the thread and then tie a knot and now this is how you do half inch knots I'm good with it uh, I'm good that you have two or three knots that's enough I'm going to thread zap it you can also use your scissors to do it but this comes out precisely where we want it to come so this is a beadsmith product our earring is pretty much ready i have here a handmade uh, ear wire because i want the loop to be bigger the regular store bought ear wire doesn't have a bigger loop so i just open up this loop take my earring drop it inside and then close the ear wire this is this is how my earring looks like I hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification I do upload videos couple of times a week thanks so much for watching have a good day and bye